Hi, I'm back already. Isn't that great? Okay, hey, guess what? There's something I probably should have mentioned uh, in the same video, but yeah, it was getting long, and you know, maybe you need a break, go get a sandwich and a Coke or something like that. All right, uh, something that grows out of all this that we just did is called bond order. Okay. And uh, bond order's not uh, super tricky, but uh, bond order, let's see, I need, a, I need a clean space here, but I don't want to get rid of all the stuff. So what can I do? I don't know. Bond order is going to work out like this. Let's get a new color right, right here. And uh, yeah, make sure I know where this went. That's better. Okay. Let's talk about bond order. What uh, determines the stability of a bond is um, th this number, the bond order, which is if you take the number of bonding electrons, okay, so bonding, that's these down here, right, or these down here, take the bonding electrons minus the antibonding, or the anti, as I was about to. I like that sound. I like that better. I'm going to put that in there anyway. I don't care. Ain't I? Besides, maybe if I maybe if I put ain't I, or if I say that, I'll spell it right in the future. Uh, the bonding and the anti-bonding molecules, the number of each, okay? So I'm going to count them up, and then I'm going to divide that by two, and that gives me my bond order. Not body order, but it looks like it doesn't. Okay, so what that means is... I'm going to take, well, let's look at this one right here, okay? How many bonding do I have? Okay, well, I've got two, four, six, eight, minus one, two, okay? And I divide that by two, so six divided by two is three. That's my bond order for an O2 molecule, okay? If I look over here, I've got bonding. How many bonding? In this, uh, I don't even know if this is going to happen or not yet, but uh, how many bonding do I have? Well, this is bonding, and these are bonding, right? So that's two, four, six, eight, right? Minus, hey, look, the bonding order here is going to be, th these are the negatives, so maybe I should do that in different color, okay? Um, <clears throat> see that? That's my anti-bonding. They exactly match, so eight minus eight, doesn't matter what I divide it by now because the bond order for this one is equal to zero. So if I have a bond order of zero, then it's diamagnetic, right? It's not going to want to stick to anything. We wouldn't consider that particularly stable, uh, or at least the bonding wouldn't be stable, right? They like to be alone. In this case, the closer, or excuse me, the, the bigger the number we get, the stronger it's going to be. So, you know, no two, it's pretty happy that way. But if they had an even bigger number, it would be even stronger. So it would be kind of cool to go through and uh, just see what happens as you combine other elements. In fact, I, I think I'm just going to try that out. I don't know if this is going to work, but hey, that's that's half the fun, right? Is getting to try and fail without any consequences, which is why I hate the damn clickers. Just going to put it out there. Okay. Uh, bond order, right? Okay. Let's look at something here. Uh, let's say, like I said, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or not. Okay. I'm going to say sodium. I'm going to say chloride. Right. So really what I mean to say is NaCl up here. Okay. Now, uh, the sodium I know has a uh, plus one. Right. And I know that the chlorine has a negative one. Okay, so I want to find out the bond order for this. Well, let's figure it out. So uh, the 2s orbital for sodium. Yeah, I want to make these different colors so so I can see what's going on a little bit easier. Okay, so let me just do sodium first. Sodium is it's got a full 2s. Oh, you know what? Ah, uh, this is going to be too tricky with these diagrams. Uh, I'm backing up. You'll understand why in a minute. Let's do when I can actually fit in these diagrams. You could do this with another one, but Let's do lithium, lithium fluoride. 
it'll behave about the same, uh, well, it'll do what I want it to, that, let's put it that way. So lithium is going to be a plus one, same as sodium, right? And uh, let's uh, switch there, and uh, let's see, I'll make the other one yellow. And this will be my fluorine, uh, fluorine or well, the fluoride half of it, and that's going to be a single negative, right? So I'm going to fill them in one at a time. I know that lithium, the first one, the 2S, is going to have one. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Maybe I should have really, I don't know. I'm just having fun here. So I've got one in the 2S, right? And over here on the fluorine side, I've... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I see where this is headed now. It's not as bad as I thought. Okay, uh, fluorine's going to have it all full, right? So it's going to have one, two. Lithium's only going to have... Huh, you know what? I think I did something screwy here. Okay, uh, really, when I, take the, when I take the electron away from lithium, it's going to be more like helium. So that's going to have nothing over here, right? Because, uh, well, it's going to have like the 1s full, right? But we're going to start here. This is an interesting little experiment. So I'm going to go here and say 2s is full. So I'm going to go 1, 2. Okay, and that gives me my uh, fluorine for the 2s. Now let's look at lithium. Oh, you know, that should have been yellow because that, that came from my fluorine. Okay, so up here, I'm going to say uh, lithium, how, what you got, right? Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay, and so I come over here to the fluorine that picked one up, and it's all thinking he's a tough uh, neon. And it's going to have a full 2P. So, uh, so it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the 2P is full on F, and I start counting them in, and I go uh, 1, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so to find out my bond order, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say bonding electrons. How many have I got? Well, I've got two, four, six, eight. Eight bonding electrons minus the anti-bonding electrons. Wow, look, no anti-bonding electrons. And now I'm going to say uh, divide that by two. And that equals four, and that's going to be a pretty strong bond. Cool. All right, so I think it works for that, because we know that lithium fluoride would be a pretty stable compound, uh, although the reaction getting there is kind of, you know, not something you'd want to be close to. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.